Mina, Gonbonwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, back with more Psalms. Multiple Psalms this time around. We're going to read the beginning of several Psalms. Let's hop into it. Psalm 3. Lord, how they have increased to trouble me. Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say of him, there is no help for him in God. Selah. Psalm 4. Hear me when I call, O God, in my righteousness. You have relieved me in my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. Psalm 6. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor chasten me in your hot displeasure. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are troubled. Psalm 7. O Lord my God, in you I put my trust. Save me from all those who persecute me and deliver me, lest they tear me like a lion, rending me in pieces, while there is none to deliver. And where is the next one? Psalm 10. Why do you stand afar off, O Lord? Why do you hide in times of trouble? The wicked in his pride persecutes the poor. Let them be caught in the plots which they have devised. Psalm 12. Help, Lord, for the godly man ceases. For the faithful disappear from among the sons of men. They speak idly every one with his neighbor. With a flattering lips and a double heart they speak. It's something that I just noticed over the beginning of the Psalms as I've been reading them. And this will continue through all 150, several Psalms. Start off with, and some all the way to the end, just talk about how life is negative, how we need help, how things are not okay, how lawlessness, wickedness, ungodliness is increasing, how the righteous are being persecuted, how righteousness is falling, how life is kind of just falling apart. How many of us can relate to something similar to that? How many of us know that there are hard times in this life, even when you're doing everything right, even when you're doing everything to the best of your ability? And I just want to say that the Psalms and the Bible in general, they acknowledge that, that life is not always easy, that life doesn't always go the right way, that sometimes evil people get good things and sometimes good people get bad things. And there is, there is often a time when a godly person will need help and when they will need to pray to their God to deliver them. And guys, I just want to encourage you, shoot up those prayers. When we shoot up those prayers, that's when we receive the grace and an answer to those prayers. That's when, that's when righteousness can start gaining ground. That's when wickedness can start to be torn. Again, that was bad English. Can start to be torn down. Godly ways will prevail when God's people pray. So if you're having a hard time, don't just complain about it. Don't run away. Pray. Go to God and say, God, help. <laughs> help. Why are you afar off? Why do you hide in times of trouble? In you I put my trust. Save me from all those who persecute me. And there will come a point where as you're saying, hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness, you will be able to say, you have relieved me in my distress. Those prayers are answered. God hears those, and he wants us to continually cry out those things. And when you need help, guys, you're supposed to pray. It is all right to ask God for help. He wants to be involved in every little thing in our lives, not just the big things. So even when little things start going wrong, like uh, like what's a, what's a little thing? When someone in your family has kind of gotten on your nerves and you're feeling, feeling grumpy about it, when... Like when my YouTube videos and recording sessions are rough and the thing just doesn't seem to record just right. Um, when you're getting going on your way to work and, it, and your tire gets blown. You know, none of these things are life-threatening. None of these things are going to destroy you. But they're still, they're still a pain. They're still annoying. They're still bad. And heck, I even go so far as to say, you know, when that really hard boss kills you and you're just ready to lose your crap and say, God, this, this is insanely difficult and I hate this. Even over silly little things, much less the things that actually do matter, call out to God for help. He cares about all of them, much less the big things when our life is in danger, when wickedness is on the rise. Call out to him. Our God hears and he answers. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you. And God bless.